I'm super excited today. This is the first time they're actually allowing me to run a press. So we're gonna start the button. We're gonna press the start. It's gonna close up, pressurize all the way to 11,000, I think 11,600 PSI. Let's see what happens. Now if you come, Did it not fall down right? What'd you do, Dan? I messed it up. I messed it up. I'm not a trained operator. Corey here is the best. If he would have been running it, no problem. Welcome back to Jones Metal. The big question we get whenever anybody comes through is how much power do these hydroforms really have? When you talk in terms of like 11,600 PSI, people don't really understand. When we bring kids through, like we'll smash two by fours. So one of the things we want to do today is we just brought a bunch of things in. So today we're going to smash a TV, some shoes, cans. We even have an aluminum baseball bat. I'm kind of curious about that one. I, I don't know if there'll be enough pressure to actually uh, deform the whole bat, but it'll be cool to see does this stay the shape and does this crush down? We'll cover it up with a, a piece of pad to protect the diaphragm that's in the, the press. Then we're gonna pressurize it and see what happens. So if you come down here, you'll see the pressure as it's going up on the press. It'll go up all the way to 11,006. We can't really see right now inside the press because it's all enclosed because the pressure is dangerous but you'll start to see the pressure going up and all, all the way to 11,006, it's a lot of pressure. So fingers crossed, the moment of truth, we're gonna see it open up, will it smash, will it not? A few moments later. Much, much later. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> not gonna hit a home run with this one. That is cool, it even deformed the end. That's the extreme pressure that you with a hydroform press. That's why we can form material up to eighth inch, quarter inch. There's so much pressure, so much power. Very cool. At least we know the bat wasn't corked. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> you don't know? Albert Bell, when he played, Albert Bell, when he played for the Indians, had a corked wooden bat, made the bat lighter. He got busted for that because the bat broke open. They found the cork inside. Our bats are not corked. So next in line, we're gonna smash a flat screen TV. I hope nobody's gonna miss this. I'm not sure where we got it. So we're gonna be a little more careful. We're gonna put this in. That's not standing up too high. We're gonna put an extra pad over the top because we don't wanna scratch anything. Okay, then I'm gonna come around and we're gonna press the button again. So again, we're going up to 11,600 PSI. We know the back crush. Let's see what happens to the TV. 12 seconds later. Okay, so it's time for the reveal. The flat screen TV, I'm not sure whose it is, but it's gonna come out. We're gonna see what kind of damage we did to it. It's pretty flat. Here's the reveal. Oh, geez. It kind of pressed it down the whole thing in. The TV is gone. God. There's the cord. We left the cord on. We wanted to see what it would do with that. I kind of smashed it sideways. I've done that putting it in the outlet. We've got a lot of little pieces down. Very cool. So let's throw it over here. Do, 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 do. Very cool. This is really fun for me because I've always been curious what would happen if. So the next one we're going to smash, we're going to do a fishing reel. We're going to do a golf ball. Let's see what happens. Push the magic button and off it goes. I couldn't catch any fish with that reel anyway, so we might as well smash it. One minute, 37 seconds later. Uh-oh. Cut a rip through. Oh, nice. I had a bug like this on my windshield once. It really, really, there's like a ridge or something on the golf ball, it didn't do much, but my gosh, that's awesome. That is supremely cool. So here's what we have left. Pop can, shoe, I'm gonna try a book. That'll kind of show you how thick the book is now. Let's see what it looks like after it gets smashed. And then I'm not sure the name, but the hippopotamus is gonna get 
smashed. I hope nobody takes offense. There's the Hungry Hippo, the book, Catching Fire. I do like that book. Shoe, pop can. We'll have to lay the pop can on its side. All right. Can I push the button? All right, we're going to push the button. Away it goes. Five minutes later. Well, I'm kind of curious. We wanted to start a recycling plan anyway, so if this pop can thing works, we could use it on a regular basis. <laughs> oh, oh, this is cool. Whoa, look at how that, smart that book is. That is awesome. No way, dude. That is very cool. Try to, yeah. Try to open it up. Page one. It actually still works. They're crushed together, but it still works. Very nice. Pop no can. Way. That actually is a nice way to crush your pop cans. When I crush them at home, they still stick up about an eighth or quarter inch. This one, perfectly flat. The shoe, oh my. That sole held up pretty well, but the top part, definitely crushed. Oh, the Hungry Hippo. She's still, she's still going. She's still very happy, very happy hip. This, when it first started out, it was probably that thick. We've smashed two by fours before, same effect. But what's interesting, the pages still come apart. So if you wanted to, you could still read the book, no problem. I just like how it sort of, if you look at it from this way, it sort of expanded everything out from the pressure. That's kind of a nice shot where it just sort of pushed it outward. Again, extreme pressure. If it can do this to a book, what can it do to your part? Okay, so this is the coolest part of all. We've never before this time been able to see what happens inside the press. So we're gonna sacrifice an iPhone. If you look down here, we've got an iPhone jammed in with a little flashlight for light. We're actually forming a real part here. So we've got the tool, we're gonna to put the aluminum in, and you're gonna actually see the aluminum forming down over the edge. Hopefully this works, we have no idea. Okay, so aluminum's on the press. We're gonna put the protective coating over everything and run the press. Oh! oh no. <laughs> it crushed the phone immediately. Hey, it was worth trying, it was a good idea. So it's a wrap, another cool video at Jones Metal Products. Wanted to show you the power of the Hydroform. I think this was my favorite. I never imagined an aluminum baseball bat doing that. Thanks for watching. If you have something else you'd like to see us smash, uh, put it in the comment section. We'll see what we can do. Talk to you later.